Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bibi and in today's video guys, come along with me in my very special um, trip in Balabak. So this is like one of the top two places that I really wanted to go here in the Philippines because there's a lot of people talked about Balabak and it's really super nice here. From Manila, you need to fly to Puerto Princesa to get to Balabak and then the flight is one and a half hours from Manila to Puerto Princesa. When I arrived in the airport at 11.40 p.m., I managed to find an inn, an accommodation to spend a few hours before uh, the tour will gonna pick me up. So this is Bundal Inn and this is only 350 pesos or $7. So this is the bed, very basic. Just need to sleep for a few hours. I will gonna be here for a few hours like Four hours. Be also prepared to buy food and snacks, you know, for the long hour of travel. At 4 a.m. in the morning, the group um, picked me up already and we started our six hours land travel going to Buliluyan Port, which is in the town of Batarasa in South Palawan. I think around 8 in the morning, we dropped by to this house to have our breakfast. Finally, after 6 hours of land travel at 11.30 in the morning, we finally arrived in Buliluyan Port. And this area is considered a Muslim community, so the women tourists here are encouraged to not uh, show too much skin. So be prepared to have a shawl or a sweater. at the water this is our boat it's only 12 30 in the afternoon we arrive here look at the sand. right now i am here in the first spot that we are visiting here and this is patawan island look at this i really recommend you guys to be prepared in your balabak trip and bring something for the sand slice like citronella tea tree cream or something that can prevent you know from sand flies to bite you because nobody has escaped sand flies in balabak and it's quite expensive if you buy you know those creams in the island so we are just waiting for our lunch to be served this is our amazing lunch in patawan island and i really love the crabs and this is the group that i am with After we spent a time in Patawan Island, we head to our campsite in Punta Sibaring and it took us two and a half hours to get there. We just arrived here in Punta Sibaring. So this is our campsite and there are some people here and they're playing volleyball. You're gonna play volleyball? Later, I will let you know guys how much I paid for this um, tour package and we greeted with this um, merienda or snack and the coffee here is from Malaysia. This is my tent. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first dinner and even the water here is from Malaysia. That's amazing. Oh, Techno music. Do you like it? We are here having bonfire with the locals. So these are the locals here. And then I'm with travelers. Hi. <laughs> Milina, she's 
Belgium. So this is what we have right now, the moon. Guys, we're having fun here in Balala. <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> Are you still drunk, Dizzy? Dizzy? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. It was so bad last night. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm having some liquid. I'm having this tea. And that's the view. We are just waiting to load into the boat for our um, island tour today. Second day here now and today our destination is Unuk. So I'm here in Unuk guys. I'm having my spot here. So I tried to um, took a nap. I were able to sleep like for a few minutes. But then again I can't sleep. It's been several months that I didn't drink so I think um, it was too much for me last night. It's really amazing here. Ah, look at my view. Amazing, and there are some coconut trees here. So this trip is um, three nights here in Balabak, Palawan, and it cost me fourteen thousand five hundred for the boat, island tours, pick up in uh, Puerto Princesa, also the food, everything is included, and in our accommodation. It's my first time to be in a tent. It's been amazing. It's just that. I feel like I'm restless. I need more rest. My honest review here in Unok Island is that um, it's a nice island, no doubt about it. But but then again, I think they should make a better effort, you know, in their garbage. Here they have to do something because it's quite dirty a little bit. That's just an honest opinion here in Unok Island. Nice beach island with a good looking guy. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh. European. <laughs> I'm used to it. But... Awesomeness. Unuk Island is the only island we visited on the second day and there's a lot of sea turtles here but I wasn't able to do, take a video but it's really nice here guys it's amazing oh gosh
at the water. So the sandbar will gonna appear later, like 5 p.m. But too bad we will gonna go. Even though um, Unok Island is two hours boat ride from Punta Sibaring, but it's really worth it visiting there. And we head back to our campsite after spending the day, and then we had this really tasty sweet potatoes. Hello, welcome to Punta Sibar. <laughs> These are the kids here in Punta Sibaring. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. 30 minutes from the campsite is going to the area for the sunset so it will be about like 30 minutes walk it depends how fast you walk I can see the sunset behind the Sun is so big today it's really beautiful hopefully I can catch it before it will set because this is quite far still a long walk for me see look at the Sun so nice It's only 6.30 in the morning. People are just waking up, some of them. <laughs> uh, finished the party late. I did not drink last night. Maybe just one glass. Actually, this is our third day here in Balabak. This is the accommodation for the 14,500, the tent. So those are like single tent for sing uh, one pack. And these bigger tents are for couples. This is the Nipa hut, which is 400 pesos. And this is the Tipi hut, which is 800 uh, pesos you can rent. But, you know, it can accommodate like two people, up to three or four, I guess. You can also play volleyball here. There's a volleyball net here. And it's under the coconut trees and pine trees as well. This is the restroom here. It's kind of basic with tap water. We are here in the first spot that we are exploring today, and this is the beautiful Kanibungan Island where you can see the starfishes when you snorkel on this island so it's a beautiful island as well awesome and the wind here is really nice it's really cool it's very relaxing they have a little store here where you can buy some biscuits some snacks some coffee and some cold drinks over there oh there's a hammock here oh. This is Kandaraman Island. Uh, we were gonna have our lunch here. And currently it's only 12.15 in the afternoon. And this is the lunch spot here. Good 
morning guys so it's our last day here in Balabac it's our fourth day and today we were gonna visit one more island before we were gonna head to uh, Bulliluyan port where Junjun is loading Hello. the luggage <laughs> and actually that one there that's a resort by San Miguel So we are finally here in Tangkaan Island. So this is the last island that we were gonna visit today. This is our fourth day, our last day. So we are just visiting here before we were gonna head back to Buliluyan Port. So we should have visited this one on our first day, but we were not able to do that because we lack time to visit this one because we leave Buliluyan Port uh, late already. So this is it. It's a nice island too. Amazing. Really nice beach too. Nice sand. Here's a little friend here. Oh, very peaceful. had a chance to talk to the Tangkaan Island owner and then after that we head back to the Buliluyan port where you can buy some Malaysian products. morning guys so it is my last day here in um, Palawan here in Puerto Princesa so we arrived last night around 8 p.m. I guess or 8 30 from Balaba I was just gonna show you guys quick room tour here in Oyo I was gonna put the name on the description down below so this is an Oyo um, accommodation I was upgraded to a bigger room I paid for 836 something so this is the door and this is the living room there is a dining table here and there's a window looking oh there's a terrace here too so well it's nice one TV and then this is actually like like a family room so this is the bigger room uh, it can fit three people here there is a mirror a dresser over here lots of uh, spaces to put your stuffs and then there's our aircon over there this is the second room and nobody is in that room because I was upgraded and so this is the sink and this is the restroom they have had a cold shower too well I just finished my shower because I'm heading to the airport mirror so that's it guys 